Today's story is Little Bat in Night School. Welcome back to Storytime at Hedgehog Corner. Today's book is Little Bat in Night School. Little Bat is very excited to go to night school. He's got all of his supplies. But when he gets there, what do you think happens? Is he nervous? Is he excited? Let's read and find out. Enjoy the story. Let's get reading. Little Bat was ready. He had everything he needed. Except maybe some patience. When is sunset? Is it time to go yet? How about now? Now? School is going to be so much fun. How about now? I can't wait to meet the other bats. Shh, Mama Bat yawned, awakened for the hundredth time. Rest. When night fell and they finally arrived at school, it was bigger than Little Bat had expected. Well, hello, the teacher smiled at him. I'm Miss C. In the classroom, Little Bat saw a pair of raccoons, some owlets, and a ferret. Where were the other bats? There they were, over by that wall. He let out his breath. Hi, he said. I'm Little Bat. Want to play? We're already playing, one said. With each other, the other added. Little Bat flew into a cubby to hide, but someone else was already there. Hi, what are you doing, he asked. I'm just hanging out, she replied. Oh, Little Bat said. Is it okay if I hang out here too? I guess so, she said. But why aren't you out there with them? I don't know anybody, Little Bat sighed. I want to go home. Me too, she said. I'm Ophelia. I'm Little Bat, he blinked. Hey, now we do know somebody else. Circle time, Missy called. Everyone gather round. She flicked on more lights. Guess we have to join them, Little Bat jumped. Wait, bats explode in light, Ophelia cried. Little Bat laughed. That's just a myth. I'll go if you will. Deal, Ophelia agreed. Little Bat and Ophelia stuck together. Miss C taught them to sing the seals on the bus. They talked about the patterns the stars make and why the moon changes shape. Then it was time for show and tell. I've got half of a popsicle stick. I've got the other half. We found this in someone's backyard. I like cephalopods. I brought a car. You copied me. I brought a car. Nope, you copied me. I have a boomer shoot. Little Bat hadn't brought anything to share, so he held his wings wide. These are my floaties, he announced. The others gasped. Do they help you fly? Do they keep you warm? He shrugged. No, I just like them. Neat, the others said. During math, they practiced counting. Psst, turn it around, Ophelia whispered. Whoops, Little Bat laughed. At nap time, everyone found a comfy place to rest. Then it was time for art. Little Bat threw himself into making prints. He loved the feel of this squishy clay. But Little Bat looked up and saw what someone else was making. I stink at art, he cried. I quit. Hey, don't get upset, the ferret said. I've been doing this a lot longer than you. And you know, practice makes... Perfect, Little Bat and Ophelia groaned. No, practice makes better, the ferret said. Everyone can get better. That's what makes it exciting. I guess I could try again, Little Bat said. At munchtime, Ophelia held something out. This is delicious. My mama found it on the road. Want some? Ah, uh, no thank you, Little Bat said. But I'm glad you like it. He pushed the string into his juice and it squirted. He grinned and squeezed it again. Harder! Hey, I'm so sorry, Little Bat cried. I didn't mean for that to happen. Miss C leaned in. It's kind of you to help clean up, she said. It was kind of funny. Time for recess, Miss C announced. What do you want us to do, they asked. Use your imagination, she replied. Is this being graded? 
what's the goal here? Is there like a specific project you want us to do? Is there a right way to do this? Recess is boring, a raccoon groaned. But look at all this great stuff, little bat pointed. I bet we could build something. They got busy. The other two bats came over. Can we help one started? With what you're making, the other finished. Of course, little bat said. Grab something to add. The round rug made a perfect racetrack. Story time, Miss C called. Everyone grumbled. Aw, we were just getting started. But they gathered around as Miss C opened a book and took them far back into the past. Could the heroes escape before the time door closed, trapping them forever? As a pterosaurus gained on them, a ray of morning light fell across the page. And we'll have to leave it there for now, Miss C said. No, everyone pleaded, just a little more. Don't worry, the story will wait for us. Miss C smiled, time to gather your things. That was a pretty good night after all, Little Bat remarked. Are you coming back again tonight? I will if you do, Ophelia said. Deal, he agreed. Little Bat leapt out into the air, his head buzzing with all he had learned. He couldn't wait to be back in night school. You won't believe what my friends eat. My best friend likes to hang upside down too. There's a song I can teach you. Somebody almost got in trouble for spilling juice. We read the most amazing story. I know all my numbers now.